Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, excuse the way that I'm looking, I'm going to explain that in a second because this is actually like a get on ready with me for bed I guess. Um, I've just been to work all night and I <laughs> kind of wanted an excuse to show the makeup off that I wore today. Um, I haven't really been experimenting with my makeup recently, I just haven't really had the time, I've had a lot of things on my mind. Um, so it was really nice to just sit and chill yesterday and do like some proper nice makeup. Um, but yeah, it's now time to wash it off and I'm going to film it. Well, not just film me getting ready for bed, obviously. I'm also going to film like, I guess, my after work routine. I'm going to film a sort of like after work routine. Basically, I work nights. If you're wondering why it's daylight outside, it's because... It is currently nine o'clock and I've just got back from work. So I need to go to bed. And I've actually got one more shift left and then I go to Switzerland, I can't wait. I don't know whether this will be uploaded before or after the Switzerland vlogs, but um, I'm actually on the roll with my uploading sort of thing. I'm really enjoying recording at the minute, like just recording random stuff, I love it. But I also don't want to be too boring for like anyone, so I apologise if I am. Um, but yeah, I don't have that much to do. I actually don't have... I've already... I've already done one of my chores and I didn't even film it. I pegged the washing out that I did overnight while I was at work. Um, and I just went out and pegged that out um, when I got back home. So that's drying. Um... And yeah, basically the first step is for me to get all of this makeup off my face, brush my hair. Um, I haven't touched my hair because I was like, well, this is just realistically what I look like when I get back from work. I'm going to carry on and just start getting ready for bed. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in a second because I'm not brushing my teeth on video. I'm not brushing my teeth on video. I'm not having a shower today actually. Sometimes I will have a shower in the morning, sometimes I won't, and I'll just have a shower before work on the evening. Um but yeah. I don't fancy a shower this morning, so that's not happening. I've got my mouthwash here, I've got my toothpaste and my toothbrush, and I'm just gonna go and get ready, well, brush my teeth. And I'm just gonna go disappear and brush my teeth. Obviously, like I said, I don't wanna do that on camera, so I'll be back in a second. And on to mouthwash. And yes, I do drink out the bottle because this was the non-alcoholic mouthwash I brought when I actually had a tongue piercing um, and I was trying to heal it up. They recommended me to use non-alcoholic mouthwash. Um, and now I've just got a load of mouthwash, even though I've my um tongue piercings held up i really want to get that done and also my eyebrow as well that's missing i literally i really want to get so many more piercings but the piercings that i have i can't even like look after properly well not look after but like i can't even keep them in to save my life um the ones around my lips do well my nose ring does well because it's a ring not like you know just a stud um, if it was a stud, I'd have a nightmare. But the ones around my mouth are a bit more, like, noticeable. Um, and with my tongue bar, that was basically... I'd lost the ball. Um, I think it fell out. I put it somewhere intentionally to put it back in. I lost the ball. And then it was really annoying me that I had no ball on the other end. So I kept on, like, scratching the top of my top of my mouth with like the bar that had no ball on the on the top if you get what I mean um so I was like you know what I'm just going to take it out and then the next minute you know it's healed up and then the eyebrow piercing disappeared sometime when I was away on holiday in Tenerife um so I'm, I'm pretty gutted about that but I also did have a pretty sick time I'm I either lost it when we went to the water park or on the jet ski um one of those times it was just like it just vanished that is the explanation to why i've been drinking my mouthwash from the bottle um it's mine i was only gonna get my own germs anyway oh actually 
Have you seen my little ducky hair clip? I just, it's so cute because my hair's half yellow. So it makes sense to use my little ducky hair clip. Um, I will brush my hair before because it's really annoying me how knotty and stuff it is. I mean, it does mean that I'm just not going to be able to see anything, but it's... It gets so knotty. Um, and now it's time to wash off my makeup. So the first thing that I've got to do with that is get these little flowery gems off. Oh, they're still really sticky. I mean, they came off easily, but they're sticking to my fingers. So I did put some like eyelash glue on them as well because I thought Better safe than sorry. To get the bulk off my makeup, like off my face, I use the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm, um, which I've had for ages now. I mean, it is sort of starting to get to the bottom. A little bit of that, whack it on my face. Try and get as much makeup off as I can, but I will cleanse my face after this as well. So that is like the bulk of my makeup off. Obviously there's still a bit of eyeshadow and mascara, but it's took the majority off and this always never fails to take my makeup off. Like especially the weird bits like the um, mascara and eyeshadows and stuff like that. That is, I'm using the Skin of Me Purify and Prep Hydrate and Cleanser. Um, and it's kind of like my own personalised thing. I made it so it's suitable for dry skin and sensitive skin as well, because that is my type of skin. Um, I've also got flannel, so I can wash my face properly. My skin always breaks out as well, um, just after I come back from a hot country. As you can see, like, I guess, the spots, they're not, as, they're not that bad, but I mean, it's nothing enough to bother me. I've never really been like that bothered about spots anyway. But yeah, just to let you know what those are on my face, it's the breakout from me coming from a different country to another one, spending a week there and then going back home. So it's literally, I think it's either something in the air or like the weather or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe the sunscreen actually, because I was wearing that a lot. Hay fever, I never used to like suffer with hay fever at all, but now, oh my God, I can't go a day without taking an allergy tablet. And then this is the Natural Clinic Face Serum, Vitamin C, Brightening and Plumping. Um, it looks like this. I think I got this from somewhere like Home Bargains or somewhere because sims are like usually really expensive so i'm sorry but i'm not gonna buy a massively massively expensive one unless i know it's gonna do wonders for my skin um and then i'm also using this skin of me soothe and smooth rich moisturizer which once again this is like dry skin slash sensitive skin friendly um i'm sure that you've heard of skin of me this video is not sponsored by them um, and I've also collected my subscription with them because I kept on getting sent packages that I wasn't even like using because I was like experimenting with different skincare products and stuff. So I had to cancel my subscription so I could actually use up all of the products that I've got anyway off these guys because I've got a few packages from them and then obviously other skincare products that I've bought. That is my face all done. I don't wear that much because I don't think you need that much. Um, sometimes I'll have a bit of eye cream, but last yesterday I ran out of my eye cream, so I don't have any eye cream at the minute. I'm also going to wash my new tattoo, which I got in Tenerife, my new Black Sabbath tattoo, and I'm gonna put on some Tattoo butter from Yay Yo or something, I don't know. Um, this is just basically the tattoo butter that they sell in my go to tattoo shop. So I'm just gonna get it a quick wash, just literally using some like hand soap, unscented hand soap. 
it is on my leg, it's like near my ankle, so it's the most, not the most awkward place to wash, but it's kind of a bit strange. I'll show you how it's healing, it's not like fully healed at all yet. It's getting to the point where it's starting to like get a bit flaky and a bit dry and stuff. Um, so I'll show you the progress of my tattoo and it's healing. So here it is, all moisturised. This is the weirdest thing that I've ever really done, is showing a tiny little bit of my leg just to show you a tattoo. But yeah, here it is, the Black Sabbath tattoo. I'm still super happy with it, so that's all good. So I'm just boiling the kettle. Um, I've run out of green tea. I'm not too sure if you can hear me over the kettle. If not, I'll just record this again. But I've run out of green tea, so I'm going to use a chamomile tea bag, which I've never actually tried before. Um, but I did buy them ages ago, intending to try them. And I'm going to be using the Guns N' Roses mug that I got for my birthday. And you can see how it like um, changes colour when it heats up in a second. So. But yeah, here is my tea. It doesn't look too appetising. And it's starting to change the colour so yeah it's pretty sick you've got the cross that gets some colour in it a little bit of purple then the logo logo gets its red in it you got some that wasn't even there before the hot water was in so we've got that and then the same design on the front so yeah I'm going to have my tea. Look who's coming to join me this morning. Hello. Hey. Okay, so I'm I'm now trying to <clears throat> rush about a little bit. I'm basically about to go down to... Um, Basically, my boyfriend is now working for, like, the council, mowing grasses and stuff, um, like, locally. And he's actually in an area that's literally opposite my house. So I'm <laughs> I'm going to go over looking like this. I don't care. Um, I'll give him a Pepsi Max because he is on his break right now. So I'll give him a Pepsi Max. We can have a little chat. Um, and, yeah, it's just really nice when he's, like literally over the road and I can just pop in whenever he's at work. Um, um Cindy wants to say hello. Say hello. I'm gonna end this video here because I am now in Zurich. I guess you didn't actually see everything that I do after work because I just stopped filming. <laughs> I can't lie, but usually what I do after that Obviously, this was a day where I could go and see my boyfriend, wherever he was working. But usually after that, I just, like, chill. Sometimes I watch YouTube, sometimes I game, sometimes... Well, it really depends on the day. Um, and then I just go to sleep because I need to get some sleep in and stuff. But, yeah, that is the my, like, after-work routine, I guess. I'll have to do another one at some point because not every single after work routine is the same for me like it all depends on the day and what i've got to get done and stuff like that but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you want to um but yeah that's everything Bye bye